Hi there guys and girls and welcome to my next YouTube video which is a Mortal Kombat 3 playthrough. Um, I'm doing this on PlayStation. Um, this is the version I picked that I'd do the MK3 playthrough for. Um, the other thing is I, I would have liked to have filmed this on my couch like normal videos and playing the game on the TV but I had all sorts of problems. Um, my TV, the Bravia TV, that son of a bitch, uh, outputs a macrovision signal. Um, so even though I had a PlayStation plugged into it with Macrovision disabled, because this PlayStation 2 has a mod chip in it, I'm going to be honest, guys. And you can turn off Macrovision, right? I've got an original disc in there. Uh, boot it up, Macrovision off, and output the signal to my capture card, and it's, you know, jumping all over the place. And even though Macrovision's off, the TV, by default, um, outputs a Macrovision signal no matter what out of the outputs. So... I had no way around it other than getting it like a macrovision box to strip the um the signal but i just didn't have time to get one and the shops around here don't have one or what i had to order online and all sorts of headaches so i've just plugged the playstation direct into the capture card here and i'm playing um on my computer monitor so i apologize about the background but um it wasn't how i wanted to film this and i couldn't get the lights right in here either this is a tiny small room and, you know, no matter where I put the light, I put a light here, it was, like, you know, hard on this side of my face. I put it there, it's hard on this side of my face. The only way play, place I could have it, like, in front, and there's no shelves there, there's just monitors. So there's nowhere I could put it in front. So it was just, yeah, I hate filming in this room. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's get into the game. Dun, 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 dun. I can't hear the music, but, uh, you know, I was doing setup and stuff before combat. Um, I'm not going to put any cheats in. I'm just going to play it straight. So, uh, let's see. Who will we use? I think I'll use Cabal. Yeah. The bridge. Combat zone. Now, because it's PlayStation, I'm just going to cheap out and play a novice. Don't hate me for it. I can't remember if the PlayStation version is cheap or not. So, you know, I don't want to get stuck doing a huge long video <laughs> if, the, if the game's super tough. I don't remember what the PlayStation version's like, so... We're about to find out. Oh, I remember loading times. <laughs> the PlayStation version of MK3 is really good. Um, oops, I stuffed that up. Sorry, I'm rusty, guys. <sighs> Fuck you, Cabal. <sighs> stuff that up, too. Stuff that up. Something royally. There we go. That's what I wanted. Um, yeah, PlayStation version is very great. Uh, sounds, musics, uh, animations are all on par. Uh, very, very good version. The only thing was the load times. Oops, that's not block. That's run. I'm talking to myself. <sighs> I just, I can't, the run and block next to each other on the same side, the R1, R2, I, I can't get used to it. I always fuck up and hit the wrong one. I basically keep my finger on the run. And then when i got to use the block, i got to swap to the other one. And I don't know why. It doesn't seem like a big thing, but I, I, don't know, I can't fucking do it. The block's got to be on another side or something. <laughs> I'm just... So I'm okay when I'm doing a fatality. Because I keep my finger on the block. But when i got to keep, like, inter um, interchanging between buttons, you know, and between the run and block, I, I can't fucking do it. My head gets all confused. The buttons are right next to each other. It just doesn't work for me. <laughs> fatality. I did fatality. Cabal versus Cabal. Now loading. Load that shit. Yeah. Round one. What? Whoops. I stuffed up. Through the roof, baby. Boom. <laughs> oh, what? Cabal's pink fireball is so sus. Like, if you think about it. Why is it like a pink fireball? <laughs> I miss that combo. I really do love that combo. <laughs> With the saw. 
I mean, I understand why they got rid of it. But, oh, it just looks so fucking cool. You spit them, you do the saw, yeah, it cuts them up, you know, and then you run in and like, pop, 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 you do your combo and the saw stays there and everything. Looks great. <laughs> I don't remember Cabal and Fatality. Run, block, 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 high kick. I think that's it. Run, block, 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 high kick. I think that's it. Let's try it. Don't remember his animality. Something with high punch down, forward, 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 high punch, I think. I'm so rusty. Oh, come on, that was supposed to be a trip, Sonia. Baby. Baby, baby, baby. Ah! Alright. Ah, what? Fucking bitch. Oh, bullshit! Where was my high punch, high punch combo? He swung the thing and it didn't connect. That is rubbish. Rubbish. You whore. You fucking cheap whore! Come here. Ah, oh, that is crap. Take that. Get up, fall down. Get up, fall down. Get up, get up, get down. <laughs> All right. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. What's the thing about that, baby? Oh. Mm. Mm. Baby, do you like that shit? I did. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. All right, run. What? 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 I kick. No. Was I too slow? I'm not sure. Probably. <laughs> Oh man. Go Cabal. You can do this shit. You can do it, Cabal. Don't let Jax phase you. Jax is only scary in MK2. He's not so bad in MK3. Oh, Soul Chamber. Love Soul Chamber. Mm mm mm. Yo, throw the roof, bitch! Yeah! Oh, come on, baby. Don't do that to me, Jax. Gotta say, PlayStation version. Fuck. Really good version of MK3. Even the loading's not too bad, you know. I know, you know, I, I hated PlayStation for a long time. I would, remember, I grew up Sega. Sega boy. You know, and PlayStation's the thing that took away my Sega. Not in PS1 days, to be fair. Um... No. Um, but it took me a while to get a PlayStation. I think I got a PlayStation around the time I got a Dreamcast, actually. Which is funny. You know, and then... Um, actually, no, it would have been... No, it would have been before. Yeah, way before, actually. Because I got a PlayStation 2... No, I got... A, I got every, all the PlayStations I got late. I never got them when they were new, actually. So, I think I did get a PlayStation around the time I got a Dreamcast. And then I think I got a PlayStation 2 around the same time I got an Xbox. Um, I got a PlayStation 2 for Armageddon. I got an Xbox for Deception. Um, so, yeah, but I always had this gripe with Sony for a long time. I don't, I don't have it now, but um, for a long time, I, around the Xbox days, I was just like, fuck Sony, you know. And everyone was just like, Sony's the best, Sony's the best all the time. It was just, oh, shit me. You know, I, I really didn't think Sony was the best. Uh, but the thing that shit me the most... Oh, it is Rumble Rock, I kick. Um, the thing that shit me the most were, was when Sega Dreamcast went away. All those, I, I, went, I remember going on the PlayStation, or, sorry, no, the Sega forums on there, and they're all like, okay, Sega's dead, so we're all gonna be become Sony fanboys now. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, PlayStation killed the, the Sega. Why would you then become a PlayStation fanboy? That makes no sense. Wouldn't you be annoyed? Like, that, you know, um, that your, your Sega stuff was taken away by Sony. Wouldn't you be pissed off? I know I was. I didn't want a Sony. Sony costs Sega Dreamcast the market. It's not Sony's fault. You know, that just had better marketing and stuff. But, but you know, 
that left a bit of a bit of taste in my mouth. And then all these Sega fans were like, we're PlayStation fans now. I'm like, why aren't you Xbox fans? It makes no sense. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Baby, don't fuck me. Sub, Sub-Zero, don't fuck me. Sub-Zero, don't fuck me. Or I'll fuck you. Oh, bullshit, you blocked that. Bullshit, you motherfucker. That son of a bitch. Sub-Zero fucked me. See, if I had fucking Scorpion, you'd be dead. Fucking... So bullshit, there's no Scorpion MK3. That's so fucking bullshit. I wish I could go back in time to that meeting. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? You can't leave out fucking Scorpion. What the f You're gonna have Sub-Zero and no Scorpion? Are you fucking insane? Seriously. Why the fuck would you leave Scorpion out? It's the coolest lime in the whole franchise. Get over here. Why would you leave that out? That makes no fucking sense. That makes no goddamn sense. That's just crazy talk. Man. Oh. I so wish I could go back in time to that meeting. <laughs> Seriously. You're gonna put fucking weirdo striker in and Nightwolf and all these weird new characters. No Scorpion? What? It's insanity. Oh, come on. How did that combo not finish? Sure. Ah, fucked it up. Whatever. I owed him one, though. Fuckhead Sub-Zero. Killed me before. I think I've only got, like, five credits. I'm almost near the end, though. We can do this. We can do this. Khan, you know, just worry, a bit worried about Khan. Khan could be, you know, a bit of an unpredictable motherfucker. You know. Motaro's okay. He's usually pretty okay. Usually. I hope he's okay. Don't fuck me, Motaro. Please don't fuck me. Don't fuck me, Motaro. Don't fuck me, Motaro! Don't fuck me! I don't want to be fucked by a half horse, half man! <laughs> oh, come on with your fucking trip! Fuck you! Bastard! Oh, bullshit! What the? That was an accident. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> he teleported next to me and I was trying to do, jump back to do a fly kick and I just, you know, accidentally went into a combo instead. Um, hang on a sec. Oh, shit. Are we in trouble? Oh, phew. I was explaining in a, in a previous, or might be future video, actually, because I've filmed a lot of these videos out of order, just so you know, um, that in MK3, when I fight Motaro, I always use little combos on him, because I find that the big ones never work, and he blocks them. Let's try it. Okay, well, that worked. But I find, on the arcade, I swear, like, the, the little combos seem more effective, and so I always do the little combos. Bastard! You got me. I can't believe you got me. Yeah, so a lot of times I play an arcade, I'll just do the, the uppercut combo, you know, high punch, high punch, down high punch. Most characters have that. Um, but I haven't really tried it on the home market. I mean, when I tried the Cabal, Loki, Loki, high punch, high punch, down high punch combo before, it did connect. So I'll try it again. Matara's being a bit tricky. We can do this. Come on, baby. Gotta get, gotta clock the MK3, baby. Go put the MK3. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah! Baby! He loves that shit! Yeah! See how he blocked the last... He blocked the first two hits, but then he allowed the last few to go through? And it's, it would start to fall as victory! Fall as victory! <laughs> yeah, so that's why I'd always do the little combos, because they would seem to always connect... Like, the three-hit combo would always seem to connect on arcade. So I'm like, okay, I'll just keep doing three-hit combos. But whereas, like, if I did the, the long combos, it just start to block, 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 block. So I would always just stick with the little combos, you know? Take out the block risk. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, shit. Yeah! 
beat him easy that time. I guess the, I think the difficult one might come down when you continue, so that must be it, I think. Oh, here we go, Mr. Khan, Sir Khan, Sir Khan. Now loading. Load, load those taunts, baby. <laughs> Fight! Ha! 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 <laughs> Flawless victory. <laughs> you know how many people get a flawless on Khan? Ha <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, not this time. <laughs> not gonna let me this time. Oh, in trouble. Boom! Did it! <laughs> I was a little bit worried. Haven't played Mortal Kombat 3 on PlayStation for a long time. A long, 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 long time. Um, so, yeah, I, I actually, I've got it running on the PlayStation 2 here, but that plays in, um, PlayStation 1 games. But I, I did have, I actually did unpack the PS1, and then I had all the Macrovision problems. I'm like, oh, I'll get the PS2, because that has a Macrovision remover. But, you know, still had problems. And I missed these, like, ending screens. There was something really cool about Mortal Kombat 3. It felt like Mortal Kombat 3 was a lot more polished, even though it was missing Scorpion and stuff. You got these cool ending screens with the graphics and everything. Then when they did Ultimate, it got real lazy, where the characters, just their versus pose would just come in and the, the ending text would just scroll up. It just it felt so lazy, like, that they, they went back. Like, they had endings in place, but they didn't make endings for new characters, so they made all the characters just have crappy text-scrolling endings. That kind of pissed me off. Um, just felt lazy. Ultimate felt very lazy in a lot of areas. Like, a lot of the Ultimate characters were missing friendships and babalities, like Ermac and Classic Sub and, you know, Human Smoke. They were missing things, or they have one fatality, not two, you know. It was, it was kind of weird like that, you know. Um, whereas, you know, MK3, you know, all the characters in MK3, they all had the same amount of babalities, friendships, you know. Everything was, like, you know, polished up. The ultimate upgrade seemed rushed. Um, so, yeah, so that's me playing through MK3. It's been a long time since I've done that. Uh, it's kind of cool to see, play through the old, the old levels again and, you know, exploit Cabal's combo, <laughs> you know, and see the graphics, the graphic endings and stuff, you know. Um, and that beautiful um, background, the rooftop's my favourite uh, Mortal Kombat 3 background with the portal in the background. It's always been one of my favourite levels. Um, I love the, the little building on fire in the background. It, it says a lot about what's going on, the Outworld invasion, that Khan's trying to merge the two realms. You know, it's got the Shao Khan building dead centre, you know, Khan's fortress, you know, dead centre, you know, and uh, the, the realms merging and things on fire, you know, because obviously, you know, uh, Outworld's attacking Earth, you know. Um, yeah, so I always really, really liked... I, I liked what they were doing with MK3 because MK1 was a neutral tournament. MK2 was a tournament in Outworld. Um, MK3 was like Outworld invading Earth. Ha! Huh. The PlayStation screen. Forgot about this. This is the Williams... Williams people? I guess it is. They copied that from the original Midway guys. Exactly producers Neon Acastrio, Ken Vendessa. They're, they're all high ups at Midway, those names, by the way, if you didn't know. Um, Dan Forden, Vince Potterelli. Ha, oh, Vince Potterelli did sounds and stuff. Well, he does a lot of the music. He does a lot of the electric guitars and stuff, you know. You can tell the Vince Potterelli track in any, any Mortal Kombat game that he's got credits for. Vince Potterelli has the track that has the electric guitars. He loves electric guitars. Like, so, like, um, for example, Slaughterhouse Jive in uh, Mortal Kombat Deception. You can tell that's a Vince Ponderelli track, you know. He, he loves the guitars, you know. <laughs> that's why I really like some of the stuff he does. It's really, like, really catchy and stuff. Oh my god, into the arcade code! Start. That didn't do anything. <laughs> 
because I don't, don't remember what the card is. So that's it for my playthrough of MK3. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys for another one, another video, tomorrow. Peace.